going on guys? Frat Max here in a special video today because if you have known anything about me, watch my videos, I am starting to work more and more with Quest and trust me, we have some big things coming soon so stick around. They actually sent me a package. You would have thought that I was the President of the United States with how much confidentiality. Um, I actually couldn't even release this video until they released the product. So I'm going to show you guys firsthand what it is but I don't even know what it is. So they overnighted this package from California A, which is uh, super cool to the homeless, last night. So we're going to open this up, and apparently it's food. Hopefully I don't have to cook it, but uh, we'll see what this is live on television, a.k.a. YouTube. Don't have time to read right. Uh -huh. What? Chips. Protein. Protein chips. What? How many flavors are there? All right. What? All right. So, looks like there's three flavors of Quest protein chips: sea salt, cheddar sour cream, BBQ. Oh my God. These are macros of the gods. 120 calories per bag. I don't know if they're all the same, but. 2 grams of fat, 5 carb, no fiber, and 21 grams of protein. What are the protein chips, man? So uh, let's do a little live taste test, the cheddar and sour cream. Let's go there. No soy, gluten-free. Oh, I hope they're good. Oh, broke the bag. So texture is looking like little baked chips. Wow, those are good. The texture is kind of interesting because it's like a, a baked laid chip. Really, really crispy, like a really thin pancake. And then, not a bad appetite at all. You know what, we're going to open two bags. I got to go on a car trip anyway, so. Barbecue, here we go. Got the barbecue. Wow, these are amazing. I'm not even saying that. I love chips. Oh, the protein, you put protein in chips, you got protein chips. But what's actually cool also, they told me, I'm going to try this one later, is that Quest before, I know I did the giveaway on my other channel, about the, I gave away boxes of Quest bars, and everyone gets upset if they don't win, I can't choose all you guys. Um, Quest actually says that they are going to pick two commenters, so only two, they're going to pick it on my channel, so you comment on my channel below, and the comment that you're going to have to say, I'm going to think this up, is going to be, Max Tuning is numero uno. You're going to have to figure out how to spell Spanish because Max Tuning is numero uno, which of course in Spanish is Max Tuning is numero one. All right, so thank you to Quest. Again, big things coming from these guys. I really love the company. I love what they stand for. I love their products. And these chips are great. I didn't even play them. Mm. All right, guys. Comment below, Max Tuning is numero uno, and you can win a box, I believe, of all these chips. Man, it's good. Thank you, Quest. Thank you guys for watching, and stick around for the rest of the clips. So here is a life update. I just purchased a uh, Canon Rebel 70D to upgrade from my Canon T3i, which I'm currently shooting with. Very excited for this. Definitely, you know, always trying to step up the production quality here at Max Shooting Headquarters. So, I'm going to stop filming with the T3i, and then we'll see what the 70D has to offer. So, I am shooting this with my T3i with the 1855 millimeter lens. This is the 30 mil lens. Now, the 70D is definitely bigger, obviously. It's more numbers, but uh, definitely a little bigger, a little thicker, a little wider. So that's always a good thing. And, you know, looks pretty solid. And basically the whole purpose of getting this is so for my vlogs and stuff, it will autofocus while filming. So I no longer have to like rotate the lens here. So pretty excited about this. If anyone is interested in my current camera, my Canon T3i, which I'm using right now, I'm selling the camera with this 40 millimeter lens. I will not be selling the lens that is being used right now, but You'll get the camera itself and this 40 millimeter lens 
hit me up on my email if you're interested in that. So lots of good videos to come with this bad boy. Yeah. All right, what is happening guys? A uh, little car vlog today because I am actually driving down to Virginia Beach. Um, I just filmed the thing in the beginning of the video with the Quest stuff, which I've actually been crushing because this is so good. How do they fit all that protein into a little bag? I don't know, I'm, I'm really satisfied with them. I still have not had the uh, sea salt ones, but I thought a good topic, you know, because um, I wanted to put out this Quest video when they put out their product. And I originally was gonna put out the Nick Wright Q&A number two, but that's gonna come out on Monday, or maybe, I don't know. Should I trash that? Do you guys wanna see that? Anywho, I wanna talk about maybe what you do on vacation, or you're going on vacation, what do you take? You know, what do you not take? What about your gym training? All that, like, all your gains gonna go away. Now, I'm not someone who goes on vacation a whole lot. I would say maybe once or twice a year. I do go to these, like, I try to go to expos, I try to go to collabs. I wouldn't really call those vacations. I'm talking about like four or five days where you're out of your zone into a different area. In my case, I'm going to the beach with a girlfriend and her uh, family. So I'm driving down separately. It's about a six hour drive. Luckily, I have some great jams. But I thought, you know, what are necessities for vacation? Some people will have an attitude of, you know, forget about the gym, live your life, do whatever, and they don't take anything. Then you got some people that will take all of their meals and still try to go to the gym. Then you got some people that maybe won't take anything, but they try to go to the gym. Oh, bump, oh. So, can you guys see me? Yeah, you can. In my case, I am someone who thinks I, I'm not gonna be lifting. That it is, it just ain't gonna happen. Okay, but there's nothing wrong with taking some, like maybe even supplements, <laughs> pre-workout. No, I mean I have my protein tub just because I'm driving by myself. I'm going to like my girlfriend's family, and I was gonna have it in the kitchen. But I think like still taking your multivitamins, your fish oil, and even your creatine. Honestly, just throw it in a little baggie or t throw the container in your your purse or your backpack. And you know, just just there, there's just because you're on vacation doesn't mean you need to neglect your nutrition to a certain extent. I am all about going down and having a great time, getting really yuckster with the boys, as Lovato would be like, sirs. Uh, no, I would never say that again. Okay, you know, you can go and enjoy yourself, but you don't need to absolutely pig out and destroy your diet. It's too many people, I think, automatically assume that living life means shoving your face with food. And that's not necessarily true. But once you start tracking macros and you get used to this lifestyle, you don't really need, you don't really choose to go back to that kind of stuff. I mean, I'll eat a lot of food, maybe on the beach and have some drinks, maybe some little, uh, you know, little umbrellas in them and have some fruity delicious drinks. Who knows? But I'm not necessarily gonna shove my face with McDonald's four times a week, even though I might pick up some McDonald's on the way down to the trip because I got so much protein from these quest things. But, um, you know, I say still take your multivitamin, take your creatine. When you're down there, just be smart. You know, you don't need to go crazy, eat a bunch of food, ruin all your gains. It's not gonna be that serious if you can't lift. I mean, is it gonna be a setback, technically? You know, you could schedule your deload around that week and then you wouldn't really miss anything. Um, this is not really, a, I guess it's gonna be a forced deload, but it's not supposed to be in my training. I'm only like three weeks into my programming, so will next week be a little, you know, rougher in the gym? Possibly. You guys liking this camera? Because I can move anywhere and it focuses on my face. Huh. Great investment, always reinvest it back in the channel. So those are my thoughts. If you go on vacation, I'm, I'm all about going on vacation. Have fun, you know, have some drinks if you're old enough, eat some food, but you don't need to pig out. Take, you know, take your pro I take protein because even though I'm not gonna be tracking macronutrients, I still wanna get a somewhat decent amount of protein and I know I'm not gonna be eating that much protein quality foods. But um, those are my thoughts. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Sorry there's no lifting on this. I will not try to make this a regular thing, whether it's just randomness. But um, I wanted to get some content out to you guys while I'm on vacation. So, day meeting will still be up Saturday. I love all you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for everything you do. Big things coming soon, I promise. And until the next video, thumbs up for Sammy Dog. <laughs> ah! Bye guys.